And now, broadcasting from the entertainment capital of the world, this is Cab Radio. We broadcast on the World Wide Web, featured in stereo. Neo, look at that. Yeah, dog. Hey there, America. I'm your host, Michael. And I'm your host, Hans. And this is H-A-M Radio. Yes, it is. So, uh, so, Michael, what happened to the old ham radio? Well, it was unfortunately destroyed in the most recent atomic blast. As you all know, ham radio headquarters was in New York. And as you also know, New York, along with Germany, was brutally hit with hydrogen bombs during the recent, uh, what was it, Third World War, Hans? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was like 3.5 because it wasn't too long a war. It was only about uh, maybe a few days, I think. Yes, but there was still a lot of damage, and all the old episodes were lost. Well, I still have a few of them, but most were destroyed. That's why we're starting this new ham radio. That's right, Hans. I actually like starting over. Like this. We can basically do whatever we want. We don't have to do anything we did in the old show if we wanted to. I know. Do you remember the first day I came into this show? Yes, that was quite a while ago. I actually still have that tape. Oh, Keen. We'll post it up sometime. But now it's time for the news. And as many of you know, Praxis has just opened their new underwater city, Atlantis. Many have been skeptical as to whether this was a joke or the real deal, but it was no joke. You could go to the underwater city by underwater monorail or simply by boat or submarine. However, at the present time, scuba diving is not advised due to the atomic radiation in the water. Yeah. You know, that war really caused some devastation, even though it was so short. Well, that's because we have so many advanced technologies. A hundred years ago, a war would take a few years to cause this much devastation. Can you believe the horror of that, Hans? Practically half of the East Coast was destroyed. Hold on, I'm receiving a telegram. A telegram? From whom? It's from headquarters in New York. It says, uh, Michael and Hans, the director of Ham Radio, has been kidnapped. I don't have much time to type, and I think you should get over here before some... And then it, then it ends. It just stops. Jeeper, that's what happens when you pass the 30-word line. I wonder what this is all about. We better get to New York and fast. We'll be back to Ham Radio after a message from our sponsors. Hey there. You look thirsty. I know what you're thinking. Maybe some water? Well, not anymore! Thanks to Atomic Soda, you don't have to settle for bland, boring drinking water anymore. No, we use nuclear fusion to give our soda that special kick. Other sodas step aside, because Atomic Soda is here! Checking Atomic Soda rapidly may cause it to explode next serious entry or death of which we are now responsible. Handle with care and keep refrigerated for as long as possible. May cause radiation. And now, eternally carbonated, extra super, special deluxe strawberry fusion flavor. In stores now for only one cent, and ten cents for a package. Go to your local Super Supermarket today and buy a special case of Atomic Soda, and you'll know that Atomic Soda will definitely nuke your taste buds. Hey everyone, we're on a plane to New York. Who knew that something like this would happen while we were recording? I know. I wonder what the telegram was going to say before it cut off. I hope it wasn't some sort of warning. Well, he told us to get over there as fast as we could. I don't think it would be a warning for us to not to come. Hachi machi, Hans. What if it was a warning for something else? What if he was warning us not to go to some underwater city, Hans? Michael, Atlantis is one of the safest cities in the galaxy. I don't know anything dangerous would be able to enter there. Well, you know, Hans, lots of things dangerous can happen underwater. Remember the incident hey, last hey, year at the Hey, what's going on? Resort? Oh, whoa, what the heck is happening? Attention, passengers. We are passing through a storm cloud and will experience light turbulence. Thank you for choosing our airline, and have a great trip. They said light turbulence. This is not light, it's like the opposite of light. Dark. Wrong adjective, Michael. Uh, robotic waiter, I need a drink. I need an atomic soda. Stat. We are now passing out of the soda. Thank you for your cooperation and have a great trip. Jeez, isn't our jet program to avoid large storm clouds or something? No, we don't have technology like that, Hans. You're such an idiot. We have booked the Kennedy International Airport. 
What? Uh, oh. Uh, where's that? I, I want that. I've been waiting almost like a couple of seconds for my drink. Oh, yes. We have now arrived. Please exit the plane. Unless there's some sort of earthquake or something to kill us on our way out. No, there's probably some sort of sea monster waiting for us on the other side of the plane. And I bet. What? Ah, ah, ah. Hans. I'm not gonna let you hold my tape recorder again. Oh, and by the way, are you okay? Ah, I, I'm fine. I just killed myself on the way out is all. Yes, the robot warned you to be careful, Hans. I know, I know. We've got to get to headquarters. Have you tasted the soda? <laughs> it's incredible. Come on, we have to go. Okay, come on. Here, throw this into the incinerator, would you, doll? Okay, all right, let's go after a message from our sponsors. Hey, folks. Sorry for the interruption, but Ham Radio is experiencing technical difficulties and we'll be back in a few moments. Please stand by. Thanks for waiting. Ham Radio will now return. Alright everyone, we arrived at the Ham Radio headquarters. Well, what's left of it. We're still not really sure what to expect inside, but it will probably look the same as when we left it to go to California, right Hans? Yeah, I'm not scared at, at all. Now put on your radiation suit, Hans. Yeah, uh, I'll just go open the door. What the? This place is a wreck. Jeepers. Say, I'll just step in and- Whoa! Ow! Whoa, you okay? What happened? I think I just- I think I just broke my leg. Oh, that's not good. Happened so far. Well, that's probably because there's glass all over the floor. What the heck happened in here? Uh, is, gee, is that blood? What? Uh, never mind, never mind. I, I think I broke my pen. Okay then. Thank goodness glass is not as, as advanced as they. Whatever, just continue. Say, now what? It looks like a twister hit this place, right, Hans? Yeah, and there's nobody in here. It's over that robot receptionist. Maybe we can ask her what happened in here. Hey, excuse me, ma'am? Robot person? Uh, do you know what happened in here? I do not know, sir. Why don't you please talk to the head manager of department 001 on the 25th floor of the Poseidon Plaza building. Well, you see, we can't do that because this whole place is ransacked. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh, great. Well, that was no help at all. You forgot your suitcase, sir. Oh, yes, thank you. Ugh. <sighs> Well, there's got to be an answer to all of this. You Who should did talk this? to someone in Poseidon Plaza. That only means one thing, Hans. Hmm. To Atlantis we shall go. Oh. Well, I guess, uh, I guess we're going to have to uh, go to a commercial break until we get onto the... That's the... right, folks. We'll be right back after a commercial break from our sponsors. The ocean is filled with wondrous creatures. From anemone to zebra pelco. But if there's one ocean dweller that had an impact on our community, it's the walrus. The walrus has been part of our community since the turn of the 19th century. They happily work as fishermen for all our local restaurants and grocery stores and gets delicious fish for us. But lately they've been attacked by the friend Lex of Zarmacardin. They ravaged your cities in their giant robotic vegetables. We need your help to make a peace treaty with this devastating race. Go to www.featuredinstereo.blogspot.com to find out how you can help the walrus cause. You might just save a life. What time is it, Hans? I think I broke my watch while tripping on that glass. Uh, it's 5.21. <laughs> really? Yeah. Jeez, time is so much more different underwater. Thank goodness that Praxis built this underwater monorail. It's so much more convenient. And thrifty, I know. too. Well, actually, the time might not be 5.21. Oh, 5.22. I think we're here. Will Michael and Hans ever find out what happened to their dear director? Find out next week in the second edition of the first episode. Hi, everyone, and thank you for listening to Ham Radio. I hope you had a nice time. And we'll see you all again next week 